Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So I have uploaded one video already on deep seek. There we have discussed like what is deep seek, what is deep seek carbon model, how this model is better, or we can't say it's better, but they claim that this model carbon model outperform their recent model O1 Open AI's O1 model. Yeah, almost equal. They have given that uh, metrics also the benchmark, the performance wise, everything, and it is showing that yeah, it's almost equal to that Open AI model. Oven model, the latest one, and the cost is simple, uh, almost five point five uh, five point five million dollar they spent, and OpenAI, I mean, spent like hundreds of millions of dollars on to train their models like ChatGPT and all the models. So that thing we have seen in the previous lecture, but uh, obviously it's from China, so we have privacy issues. So our data is going to the Chinese government or not to their server or not. So if you have this kind of concern, you can run this locally. You just download on your machine and you can run. So without any internet connection, so your data in that case will be more safe, secure. It will not be, will not go into their servers. Because obviously if you are using that web interface, then definitely they have access to your data. That is for sure. Right? So you run this locally and that thing I'll show you in this lecture. How we are going to download this and how we are going to run this. There are so many uh, version, distilled version of this, this R1. If you click here, if you check there, then they allow distillation also. So uh, there are so many models. See, this 1.5B, 7B, 14B, 32B, 8B, 70B. B means billions, like billions of parameters. But uh, to run these high level models like 70B, 32B, uh, you need, I mean, some serious hardware. GPUs, very good hardware configuration and all. But if you have a normal laptop, like I just have a normal laptop, I don't have that much great. So you can run, I mean, almost everyone can run this 1.5B, this version, the still version of this DeepSeek. So you can run 1.5 and to somewhat you can run uh, 7B also. And if you have a little bit like good hardware or configuration of the GPUs, the power, then you can run. I guess 14B or up to I guess 32B as well. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. It depends on the capacity of your laptop. But we are going to run only 1.5B. I'll just tell you how to download this and all. Okay. But before that, I just want to tell you that on my Mastering DSA with Java course, the coupon code is still valid. Gift 15, you will get extra 15% discount. But one more important update is what if you seriously want to join this course, purchase this course and if you are seriously facing any financial difficulties. In that case, I uploaded a previous video also. In that video, I told you, you just mail me at info at the rate jennyslectures.com, your case. And we are going to review your case and we just try to do our best what we can do for you. In that case only. So, who are genuinely interested to purchase this and don't have this much of money. Because uh, this offer was valid till 31st of January, but uh, today also I'm getting so many mails. So that's why we are going to extend this offer for next like three to four days. So till 5th, 5th of February, you can just mail me your case at info at the red and we will review your case. If you want to check out what I'm going to provide, then you can just go to jennyslectures.com, the website, and you can check out here. We'll cover like complete Java from scratch, from beginner, and then DSA also. And there is one live session every week, live doubt resolution, or live Q&A session. You can ask me at real time and you can get your doubt cleared. And there is a dedicated WhatsApp group also. There also you can just interact with me directly. You can send your queries or whatever a problem you have, you can just send me and... Uh, you get your answer. So that's it. Now let's try to download this with Olama and uh, run this locally. So uh, there are mainly multiple ways, but two ways are, I mean, easy ways. Like you can just use Olama. Olama is basically an open source tool. You know, that will help you to run the, these AI models locally on your machine. So it handles everything. Downloading, setting up the dependencies and managing the model efficiency, everything. So we can just download this and run this. So you go to this website, olama.com and we just download this. I have Windows, so I'll download this for Windows. 
it's Linux or Mac, Mac OS, whatever you have, you can just download for that. Download for Windows. So we just run this. We are done with the download. So we just install this now. It will take some time. And other than this, there is a second option to run that uh, locally AI models. That is LM Studio is there. That is basically an app, desktop app, which runs these AI models also locally. So if you need GUI kind of thing, graphical user interface kind of thing to interact with these uh, models or chatbots, you can just run those in that LM Studio. And another is Olama. So it is basically like CLI kind of thing, command line. So we just give some commands and based on that, like it will run. So we are done with the installation of Olama, this tool. Now, which model you want to run? Let's go for that. Again, go to the same website and go for models. And here we have see Deep Seek R1. So there's so many. Uh, distilled versions like 1.5b, 7b, this b is billion parameters. So we will just use the smallest one. Only 1.5b version I am going to download because I don't have that like high power laptop. I just a normal laptop. See 1.5 million pulls till now for this deep seek. Let's just click here and you just have to copy paste this simple command. Simple this. So just Copy this and we will run this. Just paste this here and click run. So it is going to pull the manifest now, actually download this model and then run this. So it is going to take some time because it's so 4.7 GB. So uh, it will take 5 or 10 minutes. Only 2% is complete. So we'll wait and I'll be back. So now it's complete. It took almost 15 minutes to download like this. So it will take some time when you first run this because it is actually going to download like this much of uh, GB. And it is the smallest version. We are just using that 1.5B, this version only. So we are just down, we have just downloaded this 1.5B uh, version. So these like these are like billion parameters. So it's like this is like IQ. The lesser the parameter, the dumber the version is. So maybe it will not be that much accurate or something like this. But yeah, on our local machine, if your laptop is not that much powerful, you can run only like 1.5B or 7B or maximum like 8B, this model only. Not more than that. Because it requires like a serious hardware configuration, GPUs and all. So now let's run this locally. Now I can ask anything. Let's ask. Do you know Jenny's lectures, CSIT? So it will take some time. Okay, it's thinking. Jenny's lectures is a popular online. Oh, it knows about me. Like Jenny's lectures, CSIT. It's a YouTube channel. Huh? So it knows ab about me. But the thing is, I don't have the courses on JavaScript and web development. Yeah, I have courses on Python, Java, CSIT specific content. So, uh, certified public accountant in text. No, the information is not exactly like accurate because I don't have any some this kind of courses, text software training or this kind of thing. Yeah, I provide like certification. I have my DSA with Java course, and after that, you will get a completion certificate as well. So, um, yeah, I have like in that, I have uh, interactive element like quiz projects. To enhance the learning experience, that's correct. Yeah, to some word, it's correct, but not exactly like correct. I've told you now, the lesser the uh, version, the dumber it is. So if you want exact kind of thing, you have to download a you know, more specific like 7B or that 8B version or 32B version, having more millions of parameters, that version. You can ask now anything else and this data will not go to their server. The, the, your data is safe. I'm just asking, is Arunachal Pradesh part of India? Let's try out. So the thinking process is complete. See, it was thinking. From this to this tag, it was thinking. And now the answer is yes, it is indeed an integral part of India. It is a state in northeastern India located at the 
tip of Indian continent. But the thing is, uh, when you ask to that web version, let's ask to. Sorry, I'm not sure how to approach this kind of question. Let's chat about it. So see, the web interface is not answering the question because it is censored. But this is answering the question because it is local. It's running on your local machine. So data is not going to be sent to that the server. So that's why it's it's saying yes, it's part of India. So this is how we can run this on our machine. But there is one more way we can just use that um, LM Studio. But that thing we will see in next video. So now we'll see the next video. Until then, bye bye. Take care.